Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can dynamically select the top or bottom as a value in a slicer and then get the desired output like the top 10 values or top 5 values that, that we have set right. So this is like uh, giving the power to your end user. So what I meant by that is if I show you I have this a simple table right. Now, if I have the orders in that I take subcategory and sales, right? Over here in filters, under the subcategory, we have the option of top end and it shows the option top bottom, right? But this is available only to developers. So, for example, if I say top five and I put sales as a field over here and I click on apply filter, what I'm going, what I'm going to get is this value, right? If I put it in a center and if it is a small, let me just increase the size to 15, right? And uh, to column headers, maybe 18, yeah. So this is the value that you are going, uh, that you are going to get. And uh, basically, now if I rather than top five, I need bottom five, I need to select, click on apply filter and I get the bottom five over here. So how about we give the power to the end user where they can select this top and bottom. This, you know, is a feature will not be available for your end user and something we want to give it to the end user for the selection. All right. So to do that, what I can do is first of all, let me just remove this, right? And then what I need is the um, quick one table, a custom table by clicking on enter data, right? And in the center data, I will say uh, the column name order, right? And I will say top and I will say bottom. All right. Um, so we have order table, orders table. Now I'm creating simple order table. So I click on load because it gives us an order that you want the top order or you want a bottom order, right? So I'm going, I'm just doing that. And by the way, if you are looking for this data set, which I'm using, you know, I forgot to mention that uh, what you can do is you can come over here uh, into my data set. The link is present in the description, right? And uh, what you're going to get is this data set sheet. In this data set sheet, what you are going, where you need to go in the row number 19 for sample superstore data set. Also along with that, I maintain one more sheet where I keep all of my Power BI videos, which is 300 plus video. So searching in Google is not very <coughs> user friendly. So I am maintaining this sheet. Link is present in the description. Come search any of my video and using the link, you know, jump onto that video. All right, going back to what I want is the top values. So I have created a table, right? Which is an order table. It will have only two values if I just have slicer and I click on order <clears throat> what I'm going to have is only the top or bottom and I can put it more like a slicer I can say time right and I can bring that up and yeah looks good so now I have top bottom now what I need to do is I need to create basically uh, a formula that will going to help me take this value and then I can choose it based on what I am selecting it over here, right? So for selecting the function is selected value, but how to use it in a formula is a question. So what I'm going to do is click on the new measure. By the way, for that, I don't want to create it over here. I want to create it over here in this table, okay? So I'm creating a new measure. And in this new measure, what I'm going to say is uh, top or bottom values right and I press alt enter to move on to the next row and I then create a variable underscore I'd say top category right so this is where I need the top category so I say rank all and I need uh, sorry orders table right and uh, I have all orders and then I can basically say that uh, what do you have the total sales, the sum of sales, right? 
So I have this, uh, I have this sum of sales and okay so it is creating an error which is a blank error uh, hold on sales so i have so it is giving me error because i have chosen the rank function rather than rank x okay so my table is the orders table so that is my all orders table right i want all the values of uh, this particular table Order, orders, <laughs> similar name, right? So it creates uh, issue. So now I need the. Uh, in, I'll just close that, and then I need the expression, which is sum of sales. Okay, and uh, now in this case, value. I don't need any value, and I need descending order. Okay, so this is my top category, right? I'll just copy this. Alt enter where and then I will say bottom category right and then I say variable and I say that now give me the ranking okay so I am saying if selected value okay based on what table orders table right so I have order order this one right not orders order order okay so now I have this and then over here so I have the if condition where I'm saying the selected value is this is equals to basically top that is our selected value then give me what top category otherwise give me what bottom category right alt enter then I add return alt enter one more time and now I'm saying if underscore ranking right is less than equals to what the value maybe let's say five right then uh, provide the what sum of six okay I'll just go ahead and enter it and uh, let's now put this uh, information into the table okay so for that what i'm going to do is i will create this uh, table simple table and uh, what i'm going to do is i need a subcategory and i need top and bottom sales all right so it is throwing an error it is giving me all the sales i was expecting only top five sales and if i show you the sales as well this is same right so this is not what we are expecting. So if I click it over here and if I say it, uh, what I need is this um, sum of sales is less than equals to five. Okay, if I select top, let me just select the top. Okay, or bottom. Nope, it is not giving me anything. All right, so let me see. So first thing first, I will correct this rather than all orders what we need is the all subcategory that is one thing which i need to make sure because that is with this column i need the top value so if i just put it over here as well uh, that is one change which i needed also one more change which i need is the calculate function because uh, just so that the context is applied rather than it is producing the one so if i remember it from my previous video which i have shown you to correctly calculate the ranks this is how we basically have done it so if I just click OK now all right it has uh, created an error so the reason is that uh, our basically this thing rank is missing over here so all all the subcategory calculate this is closed sum of sales is closed this is closed and then this one is all right so this one is for this thing calculate sum of our sales let me just put the above one into the context so that it is not returning with this hard problem so I'm glad that this problem came otherwise 
I could have simply shown you the output. If I press enter now, now if you see, I am only getting the this value. So if I just remove it, sum of sales, I am only getting this. And if I click on bottom, I am getting the bottom values. And from this now, I need to remove the total uh, as we are not taking care of that over here. So you can see how easy or uh, you know in a way that it is just a five minutes configuration if you will do it one more time right simply specify the table and specify this calculation and get the desired output right so that is something what i wanted to show you one more thing which i will do it over here is i have this uh, earlier i have created this slicer which is top n so if i show you one more slicer which is this top n slicer and uh, for that you can refer my previous video and this is the top end value all right come on add yourself to the slicer um slicer top end value hmm that is interesting why it is not going okay now i have top end all right so this is my top end and the lowest value is one as you can see right and uh, then what I can do is this is one more additional enhancement I'm doing top and bottom rather than five saying it five over here I'm saying top and value and if I enter I am only getting now two values if I need bottom five value I'm getting bottom five value if I need more values bottom eight values and this parameter top n you can simply create it in the modeling which i have shown in my previous video by using the numeric range when you click on numeric range here is the parameter name which you will give which is a top n then minimum value you will keep it one maximum value let's say you keep it 10 uh, sorry increment by one and maximum value over here is 10 let's say default you want to keep it five and just create the slicer what it will give you is a table like this and then you can use this slicer in this formula right so now in this formula if you see we are using a table and we are using a slicer as well so it has become quite complex right so i hope you enjoyed this right we saw the error we rectified the error and now we will uh, meet in the next video with some new topic okay till then thank you so much meet you in the next video with some new topic